Hello, this is Pastor Vivian. Welcome back to my channel, um, to Kingdom Builders X2 um, Church. Um, today, today is November 22nd, 2021. And on last year, I came to visit with you guys. And I was sharing with you how I was uh, in the kitchen because I had been led to go in the kitchen and do a few videos because I realized that in 2020, so many people couldn't go and um, be with their families. And, they, and there were so many people that didn't know how to cook because when they would go, they would always bring the... Um, the paper goods, the sodas, the drink, the different drinks and things like that. They are, you know, they were stopping by like a cake that's already baked, but they did not know how to cook. So I decided to come in and show some people uh, just what I do. Doesn't mean that you'll do what I do. Doesn't mean you have to do it like I do it. Um, for those of you that want it, you know, you're welcome to it. And for those of you that say, hey, I don't like the way you cook, then that's okay too because um, that's your right. However, for those of you that just want to know, these are um, turnip greens. I bought them from the store from um, HEB Saturday. And no, I bought them yesterday. I'm sorry. I bought some Saturday that I washed and have already prepped so that I can have them and cook them later. But I noticed that I didn't have enough. So I bought um, some more. I bought three more bunches. So it'll be seven all the seven bunches of turnip greens. And I'm using four, I mean, two large um, turnip bottoms. Give me just one moment. Let me get one and let you see. Um, I want to let you see what a turnip bottom look like like normally this is a turnip bottom normally the greens are attached to it like this okay and this is the part that's in the ground uh, most of the times when they sell the turnip greens in the store they don't they when I was younger as a child they served turnip greens with the turnip bottom attached to it now they sell them separate Unless you maybe go like to a Whole Foods or something where you can get maybe possibly it all together. So this is what a turnip bottom looks like. Um, please don't get it mixed up with a rutabaga, okay? But a turnip bottom looks like this, okay? And when you cut it, when you peel it, it's like white. It's white on the inside, all right? So I'm going to use two of these in uh, seven bunches of turnip greens and they have really good leaves but I stopped I started picking them if you can see I've already and I don't like to cut my turnips up I like to leave my leaves however they once I take them off the stem but I love the stem but for the sake of those of you that that somebody would say that the the greens are not oh you didn't take the stems off I am going to show you how to take the stems off so what I do is I take it I fold it in half See, this is how the leaf looks. And I take it, I fold it in half. You see the stem? And then I start from the top and I pull away from the stem. You see that? Start from the top and I keep going down till I get it all. And they're so tender till they come all off. See that? And this is what the leaf look like afterwards. This is the stem. Now, normally I would uh, cut some of the stems up because there's nutrition in the stems. Um, but most people don't like the stems. So I'm letting you know that if if um, if if I was cooking this on the air on a regular like on a regular weekday or whatever, just for my household. Um, well, actually, I am cooking this just for my household. But I want to show you. See how the leaf looks? So I've already taken it off. To, I I folded it in half and just took this part off. See that? And then there you go. And sometimes I'll take it and just do that. But I'm not going to do much more. I'll show you one more time. Here's a leaf. Okay. Uh, I take the leaf and I fold it in half. See that? It's in half. Well, I'm right-handed. So then I start from the top. And it's so tender. And it just comes off. Some people take a knife in you and do it. But um, I'm from the old school. 
Well, okay. I'm not going to change who I am. I am from the old school. This is the channel that God uh, had me to start. And so, guys, I'm telling you, I did, a, I did videos on last year. And I got a lot of complaints about, um, about the, the, the way I cooked. Now, one of the things I will say, if you look around, my kitchen is clean. And it is always clean because you never, the way you start off cooking in a kitchen, you start off in a clean kitchen. And so, um, that's not the problem. I got so many complaints on, oh, she's putting too much butter in there. Oh, it's too much salt in there. When no one ever saw me add salt to anything because I use salted butter. Um, I also went in and the, I made the, the uh, hand cornbread dressing. If you get a chance, go and view uh, the video on the hand cornbread dressing. I made that and I got so many complaints. Well, well, I got a few complaints about, oh, it's too much meat in there. Oh, and somebody posted and said, you people always mess up a good recipe. And I didn't have to say anything. Uh, the the followers came in and settled the matter for me. Um, so just for yeah, I have thick skin, so I'm not worried about it. I just don't want what you do and what you say affect someone that wants to know, that wants to learn. And sometimes people will come in and say negative things so somebody can go to another page, you know, maybe point them toward their page versus um, uh, the page that, that they're looking at. But I'm telling you guys, if you follow it, I won't steer you wrong. I always say um, you can add more, you can add less, do it to your taste, whichever way you like it. If I use something that you don't like, don't put it in there. I will tell you though, there are some things that if you don't put it in there, you won't get a certain uh, flavor, okay? Uh, but these are, look at that. See how pretty these leaves are? These are going to be some amazing, and I'm using in here um, some smoked turkey tails uh, because, and I have no problem with pork. I just have not been eating as much as I would. So I like uh, um, the uh, when I had when I worked for this company and I had some uh, co-workers and we were doing potluck and I was cooking greens and I noticed that a lot of people didn't eat pork. Uh, so I used the smoked turkey tails or I used like the smoked turkey necks. Now the smoked turkey tails have the right the perfect ratio of meat to fat to bone okay so um, I use that and I use smoked tur uh, smoked turkey necks and um, sometimes I'll even use the uh, smoked turkey uh, wings I haven't tried smoked turkey legs and anything only because it's so bulky okay so the greens are all picked and they're in cold water um, they're in cold water <laughs> and then I'll put some salt in it just to um, for the break to uh, cause what whatever if there should be because I don't want any extra protein in there that I didn't put in there um, cause any bugs or anything to release it but I took my time and uh, inspected each leaf before I put it in and I'll put the salt in here just in case if there's any little something that I missed cause it to release and uh, wash off in the water, okay? And I'll probably wash these maybe, ooh, they weren't that dirty, but uh, I still may wash them maybe five or six times, okay? And you wash them, let me tell you something, don't go by me saying five or six times. You wash your greens until there is no grit. When you rinse your, when you take your water out, when you take your greens out and you drain the, the sink and there's no grit in the bottom of the sink, then you're good, okay? But don't 
When you drain it, don't disturb the water. Once you take all your greens out of it, leave the water in. Take all your greens out. Let me show you. Uh, here, no, here it is. So I'm gonna take all. I'm gonna take just so that you will know what I'm talking about. Take your greens out like this. I'm just giving you an example, okay? Right now, I haven't put the salt or anything. I'm just uh, doing the first wash. Take care. See how fluffy those greens are? Uh, healthy. You use cold water. Don't use... Please don't use hot water or anything on your greens until you're ready to cook them. Okay? So you're ready to put... You can put them in the pot with hot water, but please don't... Um, don't cook it. Don't... Uh, Put your greens in hot water when you're washing them. Okay? All right. Let me take you over here a little bit. Oh, yeah, one day I'm going to grow up and be a big girl and I'm going to get uh, some better equipment. So you take this and one, you see how the water is right there? So I'm going to just go in, take the... Take it out. I'm not going to disturb the water at all. I'm going to let the water drain out. And I'm not quite sure because I don't have the type of cameras that, but I can look. Once all the water is drained out, I can look and you can tell if there's grit in there. You can take your hand and kind of rub in there and feel like I can feel the grit. I can see the grit, but I don't know if you guys will be able to see it. Can you see it? Okay. Uh, if you can't, I can see. I can see it and I can feel it. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to rinse my sink out. I'm gonna rinse my sink out. Okay. And so now my sink is rinsed out. I'm going to put my stopper back. I'm gonna miss my stuff off. Sorry, guys. Let the water go down. Put my stopper back in. Start the cold water and start the process of doing. See that? Now this is just three bunches of greens. I actually have four more bunches that's already clean. And what I did was I made sure that I cleaned my sink really, really good before I started. Okay? You got and cleaning your sink does not mean just the inside. You gotta clean all around. If you look, the faucet is clean. Okay? Um, so and then I run the cold water again and we'll start the process all over. Alright. We'll start the process all over. Guys, see that bad equipment. Y'all seen the rest of the kitchen still clean? Okay, there you go. And then we'll start the process all over. Uh, normally, I'd get my son to take the blue fry, but I'm gonna leave it in because it's who I am. I'm not trying to be, I'm not trying to imply that I'm perfect. It's just that I just wanted to share with people that may want to know or learn how to do what I do, or learn how to get some type of um, starter place and then adjust it. I've watched a lot of videos and watched people make a lot of things, and then I adjust it to my taste and um, work it from there, okay? Don't forget, I'm putting those two um, turnip bottoms. Two turnip bottoms, okay? Two of them. The other one I showed you and this one. I'm putting the two of them in seven bunches of greens because I don't want a lot of turnip. But it gives it, it helps enhance the flavor. And I'm putting in, let me show you. I 
a pack of turkey tails out. If you guys give me just one moment, I'm gonna run and get. I'm, I have to run. Um, I'm gonna run and get some turkey tails out my freezer. And I want to show you what turkey tails look like, so that when you're in the store looking for them. some water over it so you can see it better okay just over the top all right so this is in texas in houston so this is what turkey tails look like i could take it out i'll take that because i'll use them uh, they're frozen i want you to see what they look like here we go Okay, this is a smoked turkey tail. You see that? Smoked turkey tail. Turn it off. This is a smoked turkey tail. Um, I think I this pack in, in Houston. Uh, I went. I bought it at H E B. The price of them went up. <laughs> I would tell you the joke that my sister tell, but I won't. Um, however, they used to be much, much, much cheaper. Somehow people discovered uh, how good they are and started buying a lot of them. And then the stores brought the price up. And the price went up before COVID. So, uh, so I can't blame it on that. Okay. Um, and so this is a turkey tail. And uh, they're really big. They're smoked and they have a lot of meat on them. Okay, and fat. They have a good meat, and they have, and it has a bone in it. So you got the the bone is good for to make a good broth um, in there, and give it that good flavor and that smoke. You get that smoke flavor in there, and you also um, so I use that, and I use like smoke um, turkey necks, and it works so 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 good. Um, once I get through cleaning these, I'll be back and I'll show you guys um, the next step. I'll cut these up. All you do is you peel these like you peel a potato. Then you cut it up in cubes. Um, and I drop it in. I drop everything in. If I'm doing it in the Instant Pot, I put everything in there all at one time. All my seasonings, everything. I really, when I use a smoked meat, I don't add salt to my food when I first cook it. I want to see how much comes out and where the flavor is before I go in. Somebody would say, oh my God, why would you do that? Um, because it's my business and I can do it if I want to. Um, I do it like I do it, you do it like you do it, and we'll meet somewhere in the middle, okay? How about that? I'm not at, I'm not mad at you for adding your salt at the beginning. I would ask that you would give me the same respect. However, if you're not able to do that, that's your business too, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, finish washing these greens and uh get ready for the next step i i washed some greens on yesterday not on yes not on yesterday yes i did i washed greens on the 21st no i didn't watch greens on the 20th sorry guys um watch greens on on the 20th november 20th 2021 uh which was a saturday and um and i have those bunches um washed up and there here they are ready to go okay so i got two bags of these and then this will probably make one bag and then we'll have three bags to uh cook for to cook for thanksgiving because there's only three of us in the house really uh, even though there's three of us in the house people always come by so mom said always be prepared for guests uh, it's 
I re, uh, some people say I don't like having leftovers when you have a loving home and when you have a um, for real a loving home not just I love the people in my house but I love the people I love people then people tend to want to be around you and when you cook and and this is the one thing I want to let you guys know in advance that when I cook, when I cook, I always cook with love. I don't cook when I'm in a bad mood. So I'm in a bad, I'm in a good mood all the time because I cook a lot. And so, um, so my food has that extra to it because it has that extra um, love that comes with it. Guys, look. I'm not trying to show you my ring necessarily. I lost weight. I lost 50 whole pounds from last year. Yes. Oh, I got 30 more to go. So don't trip and don't be trying to talk about me because I got 30 more to go. I'm, I will celebrate the 50 that's gone. Amen. Um, and uh, But my ring, I got this ring last year for Christmas. Uh, my husband gave it to me last year for Christmas. And now it's just I have to go and get his size. However, I know I got 30 more pounds, so I'm praying I don't, nothing happens. Because when I first got it, I could barely wear it the first few months. Um, and so, uh, I'm on a, on a, not a weight loss journey necessarily as I am on a uh, change of life. Um, I'm taking some certain things. I've been juicing a lot more. Uh, uh, I've been exercising more. I average uh, four miles. Well, and you know how people do the steps and they say, oh, I got my 10,000 steps. Well, I get my 10,000 steps, but I want my 10,000 steps to be actively working out. I don't count the steps when you are um, just, you know, just moving around and walking around in your house. I don't count those steps. I only count, just do what you're going to do, because this is what happens when you have a husband. You should get you one of them. It's not for the faint at heart, I'm telling you. <laughs> and so, uh, I'm just, I just, you know, like I have this, I, I have my steps on my phone, so when I'm ready to actively work out, I'll attach my phone to me, and then it, uh, it monitors my steps until I get my 10,000 steps, which is normally like about four uh, four miles for me. It's normally like about four, a little bit over, maybe like 4.3 miles because my steps are shorter than others because I'm really short. For real, I am. If you can see the sink, see where the sink reached me? And this is a low sink. Mm -hmm. I'm really short. And so, um, sorry for that. No, I'm not. This is my channel. I get to say what I want to say. Yes. I wanted to share some of me so that when you come in and somebody is teaching you how to cook, you need to know something about them. Just go in and just be following people all willy-nilly. Um, but and, and you'll find out that even like on last year and including this year, I have a whole lot of good stories to tell because um, I have an amazing family. I have... Um, uh, a strange family, amazing family. Um, it's seven of us, seven children, four girls, three boys. Mother really had four girls and four boys. Unfortunately, uh, my baby brother passed away uh, as an infant. Uh, so, because he passed away and uh, he passed away so early while I was really, really young, as I got older, um, people start telling me that I was the middle child. I, I am the middle living child, okay? Um, and so just enjoying being that. So you're going to learn a lot about me, more than you probably want to know. Yeah, so just fast forward and just, you can mute it. Don't mute it. You're going to miss the good stories. Uh, and so we're going to do these greens. These are turnip greens, and we're putting, we're going to have seven bunches of turnip greens, two large turnip bottoms, and see, this is where we're going to have a fallout. I'm telling y'all right now, this is where we're going to have the fallout because most people can't stand the fact that the meat that I put in my food. If you don't like that much meat in your food, 
don't put it in there. Okay? I like it, so, and I eat it. My family, and not just my, you know, sometimes people cook, and, and they say, oh, but I cook real good because my family like it. No. When my food go, it's going to be people that like it and people that don't like it. And I'm okay if you don't like it. Just don't be nasty about it. How about that? All right. Make sure your greens are clean. I'll, I'll put in probably three of these in my greens. And if you don't want meat in your greens, don't put any in there. Okay? It's okay. You okay. Because um, when I did the vegetable thing just to do the cleanse and only ate vegetables, I used uh, something called the smoked salt. And it gave me that meat flavor that I was looking for um, in my in my greens. And so I use that and I use vegan butter. Yeah, so you can do things. You, ain't, you don't have to use the meat. I'm just letting you know that I will be using meat and I will be eating it, okay? And if you like it like that, cook it with me. Come on, come on in my kitchen and let's cook together. And I would love it if you guys comment uh, please be respectful. Um, comment, you know, like my channel, comment on it, um, subscribe to it, and share it with others, okay? If you find something you like, share it with your friends, okay? And so we're going to have fun as we go into my kitchen and we get all of these stories about my mom. Uh, I tell more stories about my mom, my dad, and myself. I normally don't involve um, my siblings and sometimes they might, you know, it might creep in the subject. Uh, but most of the time I just talk about my mom, my dad, and myself. Um, unfortunately for me, uh, both of my parents have already transitioned. Um, however, you're going to learn how... Um, I, my dad and my mom taught me how to cook. My dad was an amazing cook. My dad was a better cook than my mother. However, my mother was a better baker than my dad. And they both understood that. However, my dad, he still, my mother was still a great cook. So my dad enjoyed her cooking. And every now and then, you know, he could, he would go in there and get it done. All right. So, um, just wanted to... Come on in my kitchen. Come on in Ms. V kitchen and Pastor V's kitchen and um, let's have some fun. Let's learn. Let's cook together. If you have any suggestions, give me some suggestions. You can help me. We'll help each other. How about that? All right. So I know I'm only doing this. I'm no. I'm not a professional. I'm not a professional. Never been to culinary school. However, I've been cooking since I was nine, and by the time I was 17, I could cook a full Thanksgiving meal, including turkey, ham, greens, yams, uh, macaroni and cheese, dirty rice, uh, green bean casserole. See, I tell you, I got one of them. You need to get you one. It's not for the faint at heart. Um, green bean casserole, um, just about, and recently, we're going to even make some like and balls and stuff like that but just all the different things potato salad macaroni macaroni salad i know and um we would have mama would always have some type of beans or peas um with the okra and tomatoes uh okra and tomatoes uh and she put orange wait okra and tomatoes onions i'll say orange i meant onions okra and tomatoes onions corn garlic celery bell pepper and just and it would not have meat in it it would just be like a vegetable melon it would be so beautiful um and taste it so good and the tomatoes would be uh stewed tomatoes that she stewed that didn't come out of a can okay so uh we're gonna uh so at that t so i knew how to put a meal together and cook a full meal and not a dry turkey because it wasn't my first turkey cooking by the time i was 17 all right and knew how to bake cakes um pies learn how to make a, a lemon meringue pie i think um i was like about 12 uh how to make a good lemon meringue pie and how to make that meringue be like peaks 
yeah, learn how to do that. And so just, just you're going to learn a lot of stuff. I know that's a lot. I know my video is long. It's just who I am. Uh, but you'll get a lot of information. You're going to learn a lot. Uh, and I'll give you a little small little tidbits. Okay? See you guys on the other side of these clean greens.